Hi, I'm Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Thanks for joining with me for some daily hope. Well, we've begun our 40-day journey called Lent, a time to reflect on things like our sin and our need of a Savior, especially pointing us to Jesus' cross and his empty tomb. We just experienced Ash Wednesday. Did you get ashes placed on your forehead? Ash Wednesday, it's a day that we're reminded of the words that are spoken often at graveside, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. But ashes are more than just a reminder of our mortality. They're also a symbol of cleansing and of renewal. Lent, it's a serious time of contemplation and reflection to see and experience God's work in our hearts, his work in us of repentance and renewal. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, verse 7, endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? The Bible here is making a point that might be maybe a little difficult to receive, and that's this, that hardship sometimes comes from God. I mean, there it is in that verse, black and white, hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his child. You who are parents, you know this. You, you've disciplined your children for their own good, out of love for them. I know there have been changes in how generations discipline their children. One of the ways that my wife and I discipline our kids, we now see our children using it with our grandchildren. It's called time out. You know what I mean? Please indulge me. Here's just a couple of pictures of time out of my granddaughter, Abigail, when she was almost two years old. She was told by her mom for discipline, for acting up, time out, she goes to the corner. And then later on, when she was with my wife and I at a county fair, she was acting out again. And my wife said to her, Abigail, that's not right. Go to time out. She goes right to the wall. Isn't that something? Maybe that's how you might be feeling in your life right now. Has God put you in time out? The Bible calls this work of God in our life discipline, a word, interestingly, with a similar root to the word disciple. It means learner. Discipline really is this, hardship that leads to learning. So if you might be going through a rough patch in life right now, have you ever considered that it might be God's hand of discipline, that God is asking you to learn something about yourself, about him, about your priorities, your life. If that's you, ask the Lord to make this clear to you and for him to give you hope to persevere through the hardship and to learn all that God has for you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you've marked us with your grace and your love. As we mark how our foreheads marked by ashes of a cross, Remind us that Jesus took the punishment for us so that we don't have to be punished. And that hardship, help us to learn this difference between punishment and discipline, that you, you do allow hardships to come to discipline us for our own good, that we might reap a harvest of righteousness. So Lord, I ask for your Holy Spirit to encourage anyone right now who's watching or listening, if they're going through a hard time and just wondering how they're going to get through it, May they know your presence and your power to give them perseverance and help them keep their eyes fixed on you, Jesus, to see this through and to receive the good things you have for them. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.